Hi. So we're going to start off today by marching on the spot, doing a few salutes. Also today for the circuit, I'm going to be using a dumbbell for a few of the exercises. So if you would like to use one also, grab something you feel comfortable with, uh, relatively light. Mine is just a, just a few kilograms. Um, probably be about half of the exercises today that we'll be using the dumbbells for. Okay, so we'll speed that up a little bit. Also too for today with the, a lot of the exercises, we're actually gonna slow down the tempo uh, and concentrate on doing uh, three seconds up, three seconds down. So really concentrating on your technique, um, getting that right and uh, having a little bit more time under tension. So uh, concentrating on uh, challenging uh, for endurance. Okay, we'll keep, keep marching on the spot. Just rolling your shoulders forward, trying to open up your shoulder blades. And we'll do the same thing going backwards. Okay, now we're gonna come to being stationary, planting your feet on the ground, hands up underneath your chin. I'm just gonna do a few trunk rotations. So bringing your feet close together, hands on our hips. We're gonna continue doing some rotations, but this time we're gonna bring our trailing foot off the ground, pivoting up, up onto your toes. Okay, so we're gonna do some hip circles now. So holding onto our hips again, starting off with some small circles. As they become a little bit warmer, it's gonna take them a little bit bigger. Hello. <laughs> and let's take it the other way. Uh, we should start to be able to get a little bit bigger with the hip circles as we start to warm up through your lower back and your hips. Okay, so we'll take it down to do some knee circles now, so holding onto your knees. Okay, just starting off nice and small and gradually creating a bigger circle as we go. Back the other way. Okay, so just come up on one foot. What we're gonna do is do some ankle circles. So we'll do five each way and then swap feet. Okay, because we are going to be down on our uh, on the floor today at some stage, we're going to put some pressure on our wrists, so we're going to warm up our wrists. So clasping our fingers together, elbows together, and we're do some wrist circles. And back the other way.
Okay, so we're gonna move into the exercise component now. So if you were gonna use a dumbbell, go and grab that now if you don't have it already. And then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so first exercise we're going to do, and remember today we're doing three seconds up, three seconds down, so nice and slow, really concentrating on your technique. Okay, so generally we would, we would do around two seconds up, two seconds down. I'm just going to drag that out a little bit today. Okay, so it's going to be down into a sumo squat. We're going to, we're going to allow our hands to hang and our arms to hang freely until we're coming up out of the sumo squat. We're going to come up into a curl and pushing that weight, or if you're just using uh, your arms and body weight, we're just going to push our arms up into the air. So that'll be sumo squat up, curl, and then press up into the air. Okay. So it is one fluid motion, even though we are doing lower body and upper body simultaneously, it's not two different uh, disjointed uh, mo movements. It's the one fluid and flowing movement. It's nice and slow, and nice and graceful. Just with the sumo squat component, just come down to where you feel comfortable with. If you have any issues with your ankles or tightness in your calves that prevent you from getting down too low, or if you have any pain in your knees, just go down to where that pain permits. Also, we really want to concentrate on our knees not caving in. So we want to keep them splayed out and in line with your feet. If they're starting to cave in a little bit, you probably want to concentrate on contracting your glutes, your butt muscles, and that should help their knees pre prevent them from caving in and staying in alignment. Okay, we're gonna do two more with the dumbbell, and we're gonna drop the dumbbell. And continue with the sumo squat, but we're gonna do some windmills. Okay, that will do. Okay, so we're down to the sumo squat. When we come out of the sumo squat, we're going to twist up and around into a windmill. Uh, depending on how flexible you are, how much mobility you have in your hips, as to where you can take that windmill up to. If you can only get up to, say, there, that's absolutely fine. And then we're gonna go down, come up, and windmill around to the opposite side. Doing this exercise should free up your hips and help, help to improve the mobility in your hips. We don't want to push it too far. If we are tight in the hips, it's going to place too much stress on your lower back. And that will do us there. Let's have a bit of a shake out. Quite demanding on the lower body with the repetitive sumo squats. So we're gonna have a, a bit of a break. I'm gonna go that through that same sequence again. So if you'd like to grab some water, grab that now. Okay, let's get back into it. 
So setting your feet up into the sumo squat, you should be able to draw a line through your feet and meet behind your backside there. So really concentrating on now, we're becoming a little bit fatigued, just maintaining that neutral spine. Once again, we don't want the knees caving in like that. We want to keep them out here and in line with our feet, okay? So letting the weight or just your arms drag you to the ground, okay? And we do want to concentrate on when we go forward, we don't want to be pulling forward with our shoulders. You just want to sit into the sumo squat. Coming out, just using our legs, curling up and pushing up as far as you can into the sky. And we're gonna drop the dumbbell. Or if you don't have a dumbbell, you go straight down to the sumo squat, coming up, twisting up into the windmill. One more each side. Okay, great. I'm gonna put my dumbbell to the side for now. Okay, so we're gonna do some alternate lunges. I'm gonna come forward. There's an alternating exercise, left side, right side. When we do that, with the upper back, rolling our shoulders back, tucking your belly button in. We're going to be bringing our elbows and our hands to meet each other here in front of your face. Okay, so you might be restricted once again a little bit by tightness in the upper back. So you just want to get your elbows and your, your entire forearms and hands as close together as you can, really opening up your upper back. Um, also, on the way back, when we come, when we come back up to a standing position. Okay, we're going to be Bring our elbows out to in line with our shoulders if we can. And by doing that, we're activating these muscles here in between our shoulder blades, okay? So really concentrating on not only the, the pushing component, which is uh, activating the, the chest muscles, but when we come back, we're gonna open up and um, roll our shoulders back and really activate those deep back muscles, okay? So we're going forward and back and swapping sides forward and back so bring your elbows and your forearms together quite a challenging exercise too with uh, with balance okay so if it's going to be a bit of a problem stepping out too far just bring that to, uh, step in a little bit closer and just to reduce that base of support and uh, we should be able to maintain our balance a little bit better. If this is too easy for you, you could use too light, but dumbbells with this one. Otherwise, you're still gonna get a great work out of it, out of it just doing body weight.
So we also want to concentrate with this exercise the same as what we're doing with the sumo squat. We don't want our, our knee, the leg that we're lunging out on, especially as we, as we start to become a little bit fatigued, we don't want that knee to start caving in. We want to keep it in line with the rest of our body and in line with our foot in that direction. Okay, so if you were using a dumbbell today, you can grab that again. And we're gonna do a single leg, single arm dumbbell curl, okay? So we're gonna start off balancing on that one leg. If that's a little bit too much for you, you can bring your, uh, your second leg, just, just resting it on your toes. So you are still uh, getting a, a good balance exercise, um, but it, it's not too challenging, okay? But if you do have pretty good balance, you should be able to lift that, that leg up, okay, in the air. So you are balancing on the one leg with your, uh, the, the leg you have in the air is the leg you, you're gonna, the arm you're gonna hold the dumbbell. Okay, so rolling your shoulders back, keeping your body upright as much as possible. And we're just gonna do some nice, easy, and gentle bicep curls. If you'd like, you can put your opposite arm out for counterbalance if that helps. Otherwise, hand on the hips, wherever you feel comfortable with. And don't worry about if you've got a few shakes, it's completely normal. And we'll swap sides. Also concentrating on your hips to be flat and parallel with the ground. You don't want them to be dropping down or, or raising up as well. Because you should be able to maintain a flat pelvis, a level. And by doing that, you will need to concentrate on activating your opposite glute. Okay, great. So we're gonna go into some deadlifts now. Okay, so soft knees, straight back, rolling your shoulders back. If you wanna use dumbbell, it's a good exercise to do that. So it's gonna be pivoting over from our hips, not rolling from our back. It's a pivot exercise. And when we come up, we're gonna to come to an upright position and um, by activating our glutes. Okay, so bending over from the hips, Activating your glutes as you push your hips forward, rolling your shoulders back, and that's the finished position there. That will do us for that one there. Okay, so we come back to the start of that circuit now. So we're gonna do the alternate lunge with bringing our arms and, and forearms in particular together. Okay, so starting off feet together, whatever leg you choose to step out first and bring your forearms, your arms together to form a pec deck. Don't forget, when you're coming to the upright position, you want to be activating those deep muscles of your upper back, and in particular, the ones 
in between your shoulder blades. Right, let's go for one more each side. Okay, great. Okay, dumbbell again if you're using one. Here we go for single arm, single leg, dumbbell, curl. Okay, so whatever, whatever leg you are uh, taking up into the air, same side, you're gonna have your, your dumbbell with, or well, the same side, you're gonna be curling your arm. starting to become a bit fatigued and a little bit wobbly now. You just take your, your toe down to the ground for a bit of extra support if you need to. And we'll swap sides there too. Couple more and we'll go into our last set of deadlifts. Okay, so soft knees, feet a little bit further than shoulder width apart, pivoting over from a hip, so maintaining a neutral spine, down, then up to an upright position. Two more. Last one. Okay, good work. We can get rid of our dumbbell now. I'm going to come onto the ground. We're going to do a couple of core exercises. Okay, so first one we're going to do is the bird dog. Okay, so we want to have a flat line or from her shoulders to the top of your hips to be to be straight not arched or um in extension like that okay so if you did have quite strong core strength you should be able to extend one arm and with the adjacent leg extend that also if that's a little bit hard what we can do is just do one arm at a time and then swap that up with the other one but yeah, if your core strength is pretty good and your balance is pretty good and you're able to do it with keeping your hips flat to the ground or without arching your back or dropping your back, we're going to go the full bird dog, raising adjacent limbs. Let's go two more each side.
Okay, we're nearly done. We're just gonna do a quick set of push-ups and have a stretch and we're done for the day. Um, with, with the push-ups, I'm gonna show you three different variations. So for the more advanced or experienced, do a full push-up where you're up on your toes. Okay, next level down, we're gonna have our knees on the ground. It's gonna be a straight line from the back of our knees to the top of our shoulders. Okay, otherwise, it's gonna be a similar position to when we were doing the bird dog. It's gonna be coming down to the ground. And even if that's a little bit hard to kind of push directly up, what we can do is we can go down to the ground, push our body weight back, and then up into that position, then come back to the starting position. Okay, so I'm gonna choose uh, this option here, and we're gonna do a 10, 10 count. Okay, so that's five and we're halfway there. It's probably getting pretty tough now, but this is the last bit of tough exercise we're gonna do before a quick stretch up at the end of the workout. Okay, good work. Okay, let's slowly make yourself Take yourself back to your feet. Do a couple of quick stretches. We'll start off with a hamstring stretch. So one leg out in front with your, with your hands. We're gonna lock that knee out. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg there. So concentrating on your breathing. It's been a tough exercise session today. Concentrating on your breathing. Let's slow that down. Therefore your heart rate will slow down as well. Okay, let's swap that up. Okay, and now bring our feet shoulder width apart. Okay, left hand, left hip, right arm up, then over the side of our body, feeling a nice stretch up our trunk here. And we'll swap that up. Right hand, right hip, left arm up in the air and up over our right hand side. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we clasp the hands together. Raise, raise your arms up, I'm feeling that stretch in your shoulders, so just soft knees this stage and raising your arms up as high as you can and feel that stretch. Okay, so a bit of a shake out. Take one arm across our body, give ourselves a shoulder stretch. And we'll swap that up, other side. Okay, have a bit of a shake out. Well done, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Thanks.